Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. So today we are reviewing the popular, the trending, the amazing Fenty Beauty Concealer. I actually woke up hella early today and I was the first one at my JCPenney <laughs> because my Sephora, my local Sephora is inside um, my JCPenney. So I went in and I picked up the concealer as well as the powder and girl, let me tell you let me see I think this is a little this is a little napkin <laughs> that I use to clean off all the swatches I was swatching every single concealer in there to try and find my match and I'm not going to lie it was it was pretty hard to like nail down what color I wanted because she has so many shades so many undertones and it was it was hard my little girl was helping me I wish I would have snapchatted that for you guys and shown you now but here we are so again today we're going to be giving this a test the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter instant retouch concealer as well as their instant retouch setting powder I picked this one up in the shade 180 and in the shade banana they also had different shades for this one and I was in between this one and I think it's called like buttercream or cream something like that and I feel like this one is going to suit me I hope so if not I'm going to have to return it so whew, no more talking for me let's go ahead and jump right into this review okay so let's start off with the concealer and first of all let's take a look at my eyes you guys I know that I've said this a million times for for any of new viewers I suffer a lot from um, I don't know what to call it it's I, it's, I've never been diagnosed with this, but I struggle a lot with keeping myself asleep throughout the night or just having a restful sleep. I feel like I can never have a restful sleep and I have pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad under eye circles right now. You can't see them as much because I already have my foundation, but you can see that I have a little bit of discoloration right here and I know it doesn't do much justice because I have a whole bunch of like soft boxes and like lights and all that stuff, but I do have um, pretty bad dark circles and I do combat that with an orange con a corrector which I'm not gonna do today because I really want to test out the concealer on its own and see how well it works on the packaging it says instant photo soft coverage for all long wear lightest air crease proof so it claims to be a crease proof concealer which to me I feel like every single concealer that I've tried that claims to be crease proof always creases on me I have um, pretty deep little wrinkles underneath my eyes so for me it's hard to find a concealer that does increase so we're gonna put that to the test and also on the powder it says light as air setting photo soft finish for all also just for reference I pulled up the Sephora website and the shade 180 is for light skin with warm undertones and again um, this is going to be a little bit lighter than obviously my skin tone but that's what I prefer I hope it works out for me I don't know if this is going to be too light but we're going to be testing it out I think I'm gonna do one eye first and kind of compare to see if we see a difference so I'm just going to apply it like so I'm gonna take my little sponge and just blend that out oh wow okay that is definitely full coverage and I actually love the shade um, it's a really good match and hopefully the banana shade maybe will bring it down a little bit just bring the tone down a tiny bit but we'll see until we get there so there we have it this is my side with no concealer as you can see this pretty much covered like this hollowness that I have going on it also just illuminated my skin or my under eye it looks a lot brighter I'm going to apply a little bit to the center of the forehead as well as on the chin now you don't need a lot this is definitely like I said a full coverage concealer so you do not need a lot maybe with one little dip and just apply it to the areas that you need and that'll be more than enough this also says that it has a matte finish which we're gonna have to see how that wears throughout the day I will have to keep you guys updated and update you in the description box down below also if you guys want to follow me on snapchat and on Instagram um, I sometimes give you guys updates there if you guys request for me to give you updates so 
make sure you follow me on my socials I have them listed down below now even though it looks nice and full coverage I feel like I can still see a little bit of green which is a mix of my um, under eye bags and a mix of my veins so I'm going to grab just a little bit more and just concentrate it on this area to hide that discoloration okay so let's move on again to the powder first of all ugh, the packaging even though it's a little bit bulky but this is like such a Rihanna vibe you know like she's very like classy and just pretty and like simple and just I don't know I just love this packaging I don't mind it even though it's more of a bulkier package when you open it I don't know if you guys can see it but right here it has the FB for Fenty Beauty it also comes with this little stopper now this little stopper what it does is it fits right in here so if you take your little powder to travel or if you're a makeup artist whatever it is that way it doesn't just spill all over the place so make sure that you guys do not throw this away I'm going to actually tap it on the top of the tapadera. Now, I was a little bit hesitant to pick up the shade Banana because usually the Banana shade makes my under eyes look a little bit too yellow. It seemed okay when I swatched it, but I don't know. It's a little bit intimidating for me right now. So we're just going to try it and see how it works. I'm going to use it on this side of my eye first. Okay, so far it's not too yellow, which I think that's a reason why I grabbed it because when I swatched it, it didn't look as yellow compared to like the Ben Nye Banana shade. That one looks very yellow and it's meant for more deeper tones. Just by setting this, I can tell you that this powder feels, I don't want to use the word heavy, but it's full coverage you, you know what I mean like I feel with other powders I have to go back and repack it to get this intensity and with this one it's just like one swipe and you're getting the full coverage of the powder I don't know if that makes sense I am absolutely loving the shade I just think it's so pretty it's not something that I would have gravitated towards if I wouldn't have swatched it honestly but I'm glad that I got this shade because I just love how this looks. This has been sitting for about like seven minutes. I actually found a cat outside my house. Oh my gosh, I should have showed you guys, but he ran away. He was the cutest little kitty ever. He was all white and he, swear to God, he has a mustache. Like, like it's black right here and it looks like a mustache. It is so cute. And he seemed hungry because my little girl's car seat was outside and there was, you know, kids. There was like crumbles of like crackers inside her car seat and she was like nibbling at them. I was like, oh my god, she's hungry. So I give her some tuna, which I hope that's okay. Um, and she ate it all, so yeah. Random thought. Anyway, now I'm going to take my little highlight brush, but I actually use it to dust off my pet. Ooh, I almost dropped my concealer. We're going to just dust this off. Don't mind my contour. Obviously, I need to fix it. <laughs> Girl, having so much hair can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Ooh, I am hot. Went ahead and fixed my bronzer and just made everything look a little bit more pretty. I'm going to look at my skin up close to see how we're looking now that we're all snatched. <laughs> my under eyes look really good. They don't look dry and I let that bake for about five or seven minutes. It was, it was baking for quite some time. My forehead looks nice and smooth. My eyes look bright. I just, there's really nothing negative that I can say about this concealer. I just, I really like it. If you guys are about my skin color, um, I'm going to have the products listed down below. And that way you can use me as a shade reference. If you guys notice on my bio, I also have foundation references. Unfortunately, I don't have the Fenty Beauty foundation when I first tried it out. I had such a hard time matching myself. So I don't know what shade I am in the, the Fenty Beauty foundation. So that is it you guys um i don't know what else to say besides i hope you guys enjoyed this video i loved the products i hope you guys love it too and if you guys pick them up or if you guys already have picked it up let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you guys for joining me today i love you have an amazing weekend be safe and i'll see you on monday bye